Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, this is Monday, July 26th. It's 4.18 p.m. now. And I was I just watched a little video that someone had put on, sent me on my, um, well, it's Signal. I get it on my computer, too. Anyway, this levy has breached. I don't know where this is. It's uh, That's not what I'm making this video about, but I was just mentioning it it's on anyone interested off-grid desert farming with Paul and Adrian and they just showed it the breach breaking the levee breaking okay says it threatens to flood houses downstream so I don't know where that is I don't think he said I may have missed it I could put the link in the description box, but um, I'm here to because uh, several videos back, someone had left me the comment that where do I get that um, the Bride of Christ is a small group and not the whole church, something like that. And I had said I would redo the message I got from the Lord talking about the different harvests, okay? The first fruits harvest is the bride of Christ. The ones who have found themselves worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass as spoken of in Luke twenty-one thirty-six. Okay, I hate that all my videos are gone, but they are. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you what the Lord told me. And this was before I ever heard anybody else talk about it. And I'm sure they had, but just hadn't. I hadn't seen a video of it. So let me um, pull my camera back up and. Um, I received this message on February 17th, 2016 at 1.28 a.m. He says, um, he woke me, I woke up and I knew, I just knew in my spirit he wanted to give me a message. That's, it was just the way it was back then. I grabbed my journal and pen and I sat up and I prayed a minute and said, Okay, Lord, I'm ready. What do you have? Or whatever, however I said it. Uh, this, this is your Lord Jesus, your Savior. I want to tell you some things. I have wanted to give you messages awaited. I'm sorry. Yeah, I hadn't got, except for the night before, I got, which he told me that my wedding dress would be sewed, would have diamonds and pearls sewed into it. That was so sweet. And But before that, I hadn't gotten any in several months. He said, um, I have waited to give you messages for a reason. There are so many deceiving spirits lurking about. You are doing right to demand I say that I am. Well, I didn't. I didn't demand like I did. I made a huge mistake of demanding to hear from Father about July 17th, two years ago. I haven't heard anything since. We don't demand. But I said, Lord, I need to hear. I really need to hear you say this is your my Lord, I need to hear you say your name to know it's you speaking because the demon can't speak the name of Jesus. All right, so anyway, that's what he that's what he meant because I insisted on needing to hear it. After, okay, I can remember that. You are doing right to demand I say that you are, I am. The writing is bad <laughs> when you're sleepy at one twenty-eight in the morning, and um, and he doesn't talk. He didn't talk real slow, you know, just slow enough so I could get it. I am the Christ. 
who has risen from the dead. And then there's a little personal part. He said, I am coming soon for a changed people. See, he's been saying soon for like 10 years now or more. But to him, that's soon. I am coming soon for a changed people. My bride will be instantly transformed into perfect beings. And Rhonda is right. Rhonda Empson had said this. Is right. You will be instantly brought here to me. Now whether that's in heaven. On a mountain. On an island. Wherever it is. He will be there. And we will be brought to him. In a twinkling of an eye. You will be. It says. You will be instantly brought. Here to me. In a twinkling of an eye. As the word says. You will be changed. However. There will be a time of darkness, thick darkness, after I bring you home. Bring you, well, it says home. So it must be in heaven. This will actually protect my other children. No one will be going anywhere. No one will know who is here and who has been taken they will pray they will pray like never before then see people won't even realize anyone's been taken unless someone from their household is gone a child maybe you were pregnant now you're not you see so, somehow they'll know uh, but not everybody, because most, I believe, all communications, except possibly transistor radios, but I don't know that. It, it's in God's hands. How it goes dark and why? Will it be natural? Will he use a planet? I, I don't really believe that, but I, I don't know. All I know is it's going to be dark and it be so black out nobody will go anywhere and, and the other those that di didn't make it because they weren't quite holy enough didn't love one another hadn't forgiven somebody still in the world too much didn't love Jesus most you loved him didn't love him most I don't know that's between each person and their God our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ all right, so people will pray. They will pray like never before. Then you will go to them to see if they will receive me as they should have before. If not, they will regret it. They will be the ones to have to choose the mark or die for me. The others will come up in a second rapture. So that doesn't sound like it's very long period of time until the second one. I will bring them up also. Believe me. Can you believe this? Can I do what I want? Am I capable of doing all things? Can I do it my way? I want none of my children to perish. I want none to suffer torture. Far fewer will have to because of my plan. This is the wheat harvest.
The second rapture is the wheat harvest. The ones who have to die for me, this is the grape harvest. Do you get it? It is clearly spelled out for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. This is why you must be filled with the Holy Spirit to make the barley harvest, which is the first one, the bride. The first fruits are barley. Please share this with all you can. This is your Lord Jesus talking. I died for you and rose again three days later. I am seated at the right hand of my Father. It is I, your Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you for being faithful, my child. I love you so very much. And the very first verse I was led to was Revelation 14.4 4, that says 144,000 are ones purchased from among men as first fruits to God and to the Lamb. There's another one in Isaiah 66, verse 7. Uh, let me pull it up because when I found this one, I, I don't know how. God must have led me to it. I do not know how I, because uh, I am not an Old Testament expert at all. Okay, Isaiah. He had me reading in Isaiah and Ezekiel and places and I was like, and when the Lord has me to read something, I get it. All right, listen to this. Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth? Saith the Lord, shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? saith thy God. But the main part of that is 66, 7. Before the tribulation, there's a delivery. That's the bride leaving. Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. The word of God says that nothing unholy shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. And right now, way too many people that have been going to a brick and mortar church building that belong to one of the 30,000 denominations in America alone. And I got that from one of those got questions or one of those Christian channels that does research to keep up with stuff like that. CARM is one of them. Christian Apologetics Research Ministry. They're not 100% right, but they're a good site. And you'll learn a lot on that. CARM.org, I think it's O-R-G. I don't think it's .com. But anyway, CARM is good. Got Questions is good. I didn't agree with a couple things, but mainly it's it's pretty good sight too. So there's a lot more scriptures that prove. Okay, Second Thessalonians two. Let's go there. I'll go ahead and give you that one. Okay, and I'm gonna drop this down to NASB ninety five. I'm on Blue Letter Bible. If you, you wondered. That's where I usually go. I like to have the tools and I can make 
the letters big. Okay. I also want to learn how to use that Aramaic Bible. What is it called? Um, where it's got the Aramaic and the English interlinear. Yeah, I've been meaning to search for that. And I want to try to learn to use that. Because that's how we know... Um, a lot of the words were not correctly put into Greek or Greek to English. For instance, here's one, the bride and groom. In the Matthew 25, verses 1 through 13, is the parable of the ten virgins. It says the ten virgins were waiting for the, for the bridegroom to come. But what well, that's not correct. The Aramaic says bride and groom. The bride has already gone up. We've come down. We've helped people. We've healed them. We've done miraculous wonders. Jesus said, greater things than these shall you do. He was talking to the first fruits, the bride of Christ, those who go first that come down. Things like bombs will go off. They won't even affect us. Because we'll have our glorified bodies. We'll be healing people, bringing them back from the dead, all kinds of stuff. Making sure they get food. It's going to be wonderful. Well, anyway, that word, the ten virgins were waiting for the bride and groom. Not just the bridegroom. That's one place that the Aramaic interlinear Bible can show you and uh, the other one is okay here talking about the man of lawlessness is what it says Second uh, Thessalonians 2 verse 1 now we request you brethren with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him now, Paul is talking about the multitude too large to number, the main rapture, the big one. That you not be quickly shaken from your composure or be disturbed either by a spirit or a message or a letter as if from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Because it hasn't yet. Just because some left. The day of the Lord doesn't come until the sixth seal. Alright. Verse 3. Let no one in any way deceive you. For it will not come unless the apostasy comes first. Now, that word apostasy in Greek, well, even in, let me pull up tools. I want to show you. This is the one I wanted to show you. Apostasy. 646. Strong's G, 646. Apostasia. 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 Okay. Now, Feminine of the same as 647. How come I never noticed that? I've got to go there. Lord, don't let me forget, please. All right. This says to forsake if it's used with 575. That was used one time. Falling away one time. Also, under the outline of biblical usage, it says a falling away, a defection, or apostasy. Now, if you find the right Greek or someone who really knows Greek, like we heard Pastor Sandy preach that he had dinner with his friend from Greece and his wife, and they were talking about this verse, and he said, oh, no, no, that's not you know how they say that's not what that means that means that's to be taken away that is a first rapture 
or that is the rapture or something, however he put it, he says that is a taking away, a rescue. That does not mean the falling away. How's that for Greek accent? Anyway, I'm going to go up here and look. You can believe it or not. It's up to you. Take it to the Lord. All right, let's see what 647 means. Same as 647. Okay. All right, I just changed my position. All right. I'm sorry. I have to lean in because I can't see. But I will. I will soon. I'm counting on it. If not here, it'll be in heaven. Okay, down here. Oh, this says divorcement. Writing of divorcement. Or divorce repudiation a bill of divorce well you could look at it this way uh, something separative especially divorce okay properly it's something separative we are separated out of this world alright those who have followed Jesus the way the Bible says we're supposed to. We love him first. We love him most. God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. There won't be any of these people going that don't believe in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Do you understand? He's part of God. The Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord has made it clear you must be filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, so I don't know how else to prove it with these with this reference. I don't have the proper Greek translation that says to be taken away or snatched away, but to, to defect defection right there tells you people that defect they leave they sneak away to get away from what communist government tyranny uh, whatever think about all the people who defected from Europe and came to America why things were better here anyway that's all I can remember off the top of my head for scriptures. And um, do a research of your own if you, you can't believe it with those. You can't believe it with the word. You need the rhema word. That's words from the Lord. The written word and the body of Christ. Look for other words, dreams, and visions that have come from the Lord. And when you read them, they sit right in your spirit. You don't get a check that says, oh, no, that's not right. That's, the Lord wouldn't say that. Well, you find some others, so you'll have the threefold, uh, what is it, uh, You should have, it's like your witnesses, by the word of two or three witnesses, preferably three. You could just have the word of God and the word from the Lord, and you know that you know that you know it's right. I like to get confirmation from other folks. I did go ahead and share that right away when I got it, but then later... Others started saying, oh, I mean, someone put a comment down there. She's no longer on YouTube. Um, she started getting spiritual attacks really bad and had to get off and just spend all the time she could with the Lord and figure out how to get rid of the attacks she was getting, even in broad daylight at work and stuff. Some of you may know who I'm talking about, but she had commented, the Lord showed me this like two years ago. See, she never put it up on her channel. Anyway, 
I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of you that watches it and over all of your devices and our internet connections. So with that I say, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.